think that the number of people present justifies that we start perfectly on time. Hello everyone, I'm glad you're here. You're here to, to, listen, to, to listen to my talk on Wikipedia depicting Mohammed, different approaches in different environments. As said, I welcome you very warmly. I'm glad you're here. And to start, I would like to, pr to tell you a little bit who I am and why I'm going to talk about this very topic. I'm a Wikipedian from Vienna, from Austria. I found the edit button for the first time in the year 2006. My main project is the German-speaking Wikipedia, where I'm administrator and editor and several other things. In my real life, I'm student of anthropology and um, topics uh, having something to do with Islam and oriental history are one of my, my hobbies to, to read about. And well, it's my third Wikimania, at, but it's my first time I give a, a, a talk at Wikimania. But I've talked about a very similar topic last fall in the German-speaking get-together called Wikicon. And the topic there was the illustration of the article on Mohammed in my home week in the German-speaking Wikipedia. And the talk ended in a debate on whether other projects um, have different views and different approaches to do the illustration thing. And that's where I'm going to um, um, to, to speak about today. Sorry. That's a little bit awkward. So. Oh, that was the slide that was supposed to be on screen one minute ago. So, um, actually, why is it a topic of interest? There are two layers of interest, as, l uh, as far as I um, would say. The first is uh, the Wikipedistic layer of interest. And this is because there's a great diversity of visual representations that are available to Wikipedia in order to illustrate uh, the, the articles about Mohammed and all the other articles that are in touch with Mohammed's life and Islamic history and whatsoever. The, sec the second one is Wikipedias with different communities and different style guidelines. Um, Wikipedias differ quite significantly in their composition. They have different um, guidelines. They have um, different interests, maybe. But in principle, uh, some uh, guidelines, like the neutral point of view, are global. And we all have to stick to them. However, in several cases, there are conflicts about um, how to interpret our guidelines. And one of these, I don't know if anyone recognizes what is on the screen there. It's a case of uh, the Archenis Wikipedia, which was um, very much uh, of, of interest for us in 2010, where I think a local administrator of this very Wikipedia proposed that we had to delete the entirety of images uh, containing Mohammed's uh, body, so to say, because it insulted the entirety of Muslim people. And on the other hand, there were requests to close the project because it was not in the scope of, of Wikipedian, um, yeah, of our uh, encyclopedic point of view, so to say. Uh, the second layer of interest is the, uh, the specific history of Islam. There is a tradition of anachronism, and yet there are, uh, as I already said, uh, very many and very, very diverse depictions of Muhammad. There are um, articles on that on Wikipedia, and I recommend you to read that. It's not the lecture on this, but um, I'm going to go one step further. So in the tiniest of nutshells, I, it's kind of awkward to do it on both screens. In the tiniest of, in the tiniest of nutshells, the whole, the whole story about Muhammad's depictions is not the Quran thing, but the Hadith thing, which means it's not in the, 
in the holy book of Islam, but it's, it's a very long-lasting tradition not to depict Muhammad's face, Muhammad's body, and also not to really make use of uh, figurative depictions as we do as we do as Christians or Europeans or whatsoever. However, in 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 Hadith there are verbal descriptions of what was Muhammad's look and another important fact to remember is Islamic schools of of um, of um, interpreting the the Hadith and the Quran, they are very much divided on this on this very question. And the number one um, art form in Islam is not depicting concrete things, but to use calligraphy. However, there are still Muslim paintings of Muhammad, as I've already said, and in recent years. Um, Cases like Charlie Hebdo or other examples, Jülans Posten in Denmark, for example, showed that in in the West there is an an interest to exp to experiment a little with with Muhammad's depictions, and sometimes that that leads to disaster. No, wrong direction. Here we are. So uh, let's just repeat uh, what kinds of depictions do we actually have. On the one hand side, there are figurative depictions out of Islamic tradition and of Western tradition. The example I've given you on this screen is an example where Muhammad is represent represented with his body but not with his face. And what is very typical is that uh, a flame is is there to, to show you that this is Muhammad and not somebody else. You also have examples where there's only the flame and you have also examples where you actually see his face. And also there's a rather big variety of depictions from Western tradition. The one on the screen is from the Everybody Draw Muhammad Day. And there are examples that are much older, from 1700 something, and so we have a big variety of images for us to use on Wikipedia or not to use on Wikipedia. On the one hand side, from Islam, and the one hand side, on the other side, of outsiders, so to say. Um, as said, the number one art form in Islam is calligraphy. Some of you might maybe know that um, what we've seen here is not just a number of squares, it's actually Muhammad's name in Arabic letters, in the so-called Kufic square, uh, Kufic style, sorry. And um, mm -hmm. uh, one last category. One last category of images that are used in articles is, so, so to say, the remainders. It's associative illustrations, like, for example, what you see here is uh, the, the cave Rar Hira in Saudi Arabia, the place where the revelations are said to have begun and where Muhammad, for the first time, was given by God the text of the Quran. And there are also loads of other illustra uh, associative illustrations of mosques, of other places where Muhammad was, of places of interest for Islam today, etc., etc. So, this is to say that there are plenty of options to choose for us to illustrate the articles, and we do this very differently. The first map I'd like to show to you is um, how the different Wikipedias deal with the question to use figurative depictions in their language versions or not. The, I know that this map is very wrong on a great number of levels, but I think it's useful to have an insight on some not so unimportant um, facts. For example, in, in, in Europe, it's quite common that figurative depiction in uh, languages of European origin, to be correct, it's quite um, um, uh, current to use Muhammad's uh, figurative depictions, whereas in Northern Africa and in great parts of Asia, you do not see Muhammad's face or Muhammad's body in the respective Wikipedia articles. There are some interesting exceptions that I'm going to talk about a little later. 
And the second map I've drawn is on the very first image in the respective article. This map is at least, I would say, much more clearer. You see that the first image in an article is in most cases an, a calligraphy and exceptions are only to be found in languages of European origin, in Swahili and in Quechua, interestingly. So let me go through a an, an, uh, number of examples. The first one is the Arabic Wikipedia. There are no figurative depictions at all in this language version, but they, that's, which means that they do not show Muhammad, but they show, other, uh, they show the figurative depictions of other peoples in this article. We have five calligraphies in the article and also the, the starting image of the article is in calligraphy and we have a very, very high number of associative images. I tried to figure out whether this is uh, a question that was scrutinized by the respective community or by others, whether to use uh, an image of Muhammad or not, and I found a request for, for comments on the talk page, which started in 2015 and which is not closed by today, and it shows that uh, the Arabic Wikipedia's community is very clear about rejecting these images in the article. Example number two is is a small Wikipedia uh, of, oh my god, sorry. So, here I am. The second, second example I'd like to talk about a little is the Aragonese Wikipedia, which is a kind of local, um, if I say dialect, it's a little wrong, but it's a, it's a, it's a language spoken in Spain. Uh, it's a small Western Wikipedia, so to say, and it's one of very few examples where uh, an, a figurative depiction of Muhammad is used, which is um, of Western origin. In most other cases, um, Wikipedias who decide to depict Muhammad's body, Muhammad's face, try to evade depictions which are not of Islamic tradition, but in Aragonese they do so. The, this style is um, contested every once in a while, but not very much so. This is to say that every now and then you have somebody taking out the images or replacing them and somebody mostly from the small wiki monitoring team will revert these edits, but it's not something that is very much of concern, I would say, because it's not really often the case to, to happen. The next example is the Danish Wikipedia. I chose this because of two reasons. I imagined that it would be a very, very controversial one because the whole thing with Muhammad caricatures started there with the Jyllands Posten case in 2005. However, there was some discussion back in 2006, but actually after an IP removed the, the only image that was in the article, the Danish Wikipedia article on Mohammed is without any kind of image, which is the case also for some other small Wikipedias, but I think the Danish one is the, the largest one and it was one that surprised me, as I must say, quite a lot to see that. Example number four will be the English Wikipedia, which is, as you might know, the largest one and probably also the one with the largest community and I would also say the one with the largest dispute on this very question. English Wikipedia uses five depictions of Mohammed. Two of them are without Mohammed's face and three are with it. There are three calligraphies and there, is seven, there are 17 other depictions in the article with associative Im images. As for me, you might be of another opinion. I would say that that's quite a balanced approach. However, the talk page about the article is really legendary. If you, I don't know if you can see it very clearly, but there, there are more than 30 archives for the talk page and there are more than 25 extra talk page archives only on the question on the images. And 
There have been discussions on several other platforms, I think arbitration committee and other things and what I particularly like is the, the starting page of the, the starting uh, lines of the talk page where you see a lot of hints to remember whenever you want to uh, join the discussion and give your arguments. You really should take some time preparing yourself for for joining in the discussion because it's not really the easiest thing to do, let me put it like that. And there's also one of these boxes is about the frequently asked questions on this, t on this topic. Um, these interestingly are, you could say, into going into both directions. Some ask why are there no why sh why are there not more depictions of Muhammad's body? The others why are there uh, depictions at all? So it's a dispute in both directions. And I th as a third, I think it's a quite a balanced approach that is currently in use. But it's uh, um, an approach that is very much contested in by both extreme positions. Um, next example is my home wiki's version on Mohammed, which is a very particular one as we have eight images uh, with Mohammed's body in the article, one calligraphy and two associative images. And this is a, an imbalance, if you might put it like that, which you don't see very much in the big language versions. The status of illustrations is surprisingly stable, but it's of course still contested by, by Muslims on the one side, but also by others. And one very interesting fact in German Wikipedia's Mohammed article is that we make resp that actually make Muslims responsible for the way we do things. The talk page box you see on the screen tells that we only use depictions out of Islamic traditions and it's just Muslims' fault that they produce these images. However, it's not true anymore. It was true half a year ago. And meanwhile, an editor expanded the article a little bit and uh, also embedded an image of Western tradition but nobody seemed to care about the, the hint we gave on the talk pitch and we're actually we're, we're talking nonsense, but maybe this will change in future. I just came up, I just realized yesterday, I must admit. Then another example is the Malaysian Wikipedia, Malay Wikipedia, which is using only three images, one with something associative and two calligraphies. This is quite typical of uh, language versions in Southern and Eastern Asia, but uh, something particular which is not really uh, the topic I'm going to talk, I'm talking about today, but the lemma is interesting. It's not just Muhammad or Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, but it also uses the so-called eulogy, peace be upon him, which is um, very much in use in by by devout Muslims after they mention Muhammad by name or as the problem uh, the prophet they also tend to um, also say after what peace be upon him by tradition but um, interestingly there is a second article um, which is of interest for my speech which is Pengambaran Nabi Muhammad SAW which translates to depictions of Muhammad, which is a translation of the English version of the, uh, the, the English article on the very same topic. And interestingly, they didn't um, take out any of the images in use in the English Wikipedia. So you have one article without, visual de uh, without figurative depictions and you have one with all the entirety of visual depictions that are available to us. However, this article is not linked from the Mohammed's article. Next example is, let's see, the Persian Wikipedia. Yeah, um, which is um, of interest because it's actually, of course, um, a Wikipedia of Islamic tradition, with from a, or at least from a country where 
where Islam is the most common religious group, but um, they actually use images with Muhammad's body in them, which is, um, and, well, I ask myself why do they do so? It's because on the one hand side, the, the, the visual depictions of Muhammad are those the Islamic, traditions, depictions of Muhammad are very much of a very specific time and of a specific um, region of Islamic history and this is the, the Persia of the 16th century plus minus one century approximately. Um, well, why do they do so? It's because of Turco-Persian heritage, I would say. You can compare for Turkish and Tajik Wikipedia and see they also do so. However, it's not just a Shia thing, but what's also uh, an option I was thinking about because the other language version with the big um, Shia majority, which is the Azeri Wikipedia, does not use Muhammad depictions with, um, with Muhammad's body. And what also was very interesting to see is that the article and the illustrations actually do not seem to be really much in question for the respective community. So, to summarize a little bit what I was talking about. Yeah. Um, I think it's a difficult topic because you have, do not really have a chance to take the middle path. You can use figurative depiction or you cannot. You cannot just say, let's use the images just a little bit. If you do so, you do so the, the real way. There, for example, in Wikidata, we have the possibility to, to um, have two images in the, in the property list, however, you also have the possibility to, in text, to say, for example, um, Muslims tend to do like that and others tend not to do so, but you can't just um, do, if you do both with the illustrations, you actually show Muhammad's face and or Muhammad's body and it's not a compromise to do it like just a little bit, I would say. Actually, in Wikipedia, Communities are rather autonomous when it comes to questions of content, but, uh, but we, I think we need to remember that understandings of aesthetics and visual traditions are very much different between the, the cultural areas of, the, of this planet, and so also do inter interpretations and localizations of the principles of Wikipedia, which are interpreted differently in, in the, throughout the language versions that we have. And also, content curation is, is a process that is not going on at Meta, but it's, which is going on on the, on, the, on the respective Wikipedias. Whenever there's a problem you take to Meta, it's not because of content, but it's because of disruptive users or ongoings that need, to need clearance, but it's not about the, the very content. But, or if somebody comes to Meta to to talk about content problems, the, I think he won't find a solution there. So, you could summarize it like that, that there's not a choice everybody will agree with and neither there's a choice which is objectively perfect in every environment. And choices differ. They differ from, from Wikipedia to Bic Wikipedia in terms of content and also in, in terms of how the choices were made. In many small Wikipedias, I had the impression that the simply the, the person who started the article came up with an idea and did not really think about it for a very long time, but just did the way he did. That's very different, for, for example, from the approach in, in English Wikipedia, where we have uh, a compendium of discussions that's legendary, as I've already said. So, having said that, can we conclude that every choice is equally justifiable and suitable, at least somewhere? I personally would say no, because choices build on arguments and arguments differ on their logic level. In the discussions on Wikipedia, there's a great level of arguments that are simply not uh, scientifically speaking correct. For example, we, or no, we is maybe a bit hard, uh, 
over exaggerated, but in the arguments we you see sometimes that uh, people argue that some Muslims did so and argue that this means that all Muslims do so. That's not true, that's um, scientifically speaking a false argument. The same is true for the so-called genetic fallacy. If you, um, if somebody for example makes an argument that you should not do illustrations of Muhammad into the article because it's against Muslim point of view. Um, no, that's wrong. It's not justifiable just to just to get rid of his opinion by saying no. This this is not your your uh, position is extreme, so it's necessarily wrong. This this is also not true. The same applies for so-called strawman arguments where. You design your opponent, um, you say he's an extremist, or t even though it's not true at all. And this also is an argument that is scientifically speaking not true. Also, it's not true that um, we have a dilemma either to do so or to do the other way. There is maybe uh, an option both can somehow agree with, and it's a, I think it would be a good idea to try to look for such for such approaches, which is maybe not really easy, but we love talking to each other, we love discussing, and we think we should do it the correct way. Also, I think I should say that the so-called God mode is, scientifically speaking, not true. You, when, Whenever you have God in an argument, you can neither um, falsify the argument you nor know, you can verify it. I wouldn't point out that in, in discussions on Wikipedia because there are plenty of arguments that are way better. But of course it's a little not the it's definitely not the the argument that fits very well into um, discussions regarding the topic I was talking about. So Finally, there is no censorship in Wikipedia. I think this is great. I think this is important. But does this mean that we that we can do anything or that everything is okay? I don't think so because we also have the the, the guideline not to be rude to each other. We have the guideline not to be a dick. But it's a decision that everybody has to make for himself. So. I think the choice is ours, the choice is yours maybe, and please make up your mind and thanks a lot for your attention.